My name is Siti Nur Aisha binti Muhammad Sapawi. I'm from F1 T3. Today I want to explain a uh, question 9 past year question for chapter 4. So 9A Carbon dioxide and beryllium hydride are triatomic covalent molecules. Describe in detail the formation of the covalent bonds in these molecules and explain why CO2 obeys the octet rule while BEH2 does not. So CO2 and BEH2 is the key point. Triatomic covalent molecules is the key point. So we need to highlight so that we alert what the question want. And then uh, describe the formation of the covalent bonds. And then explain why CO2 obeys the octet rule while BEH2 does not. So the mark of uh, for 9A is 10 marks. So this is the answer for 9A. So for beryllium hydrate, we need to explain the valence electron of each element. So for beryllium has two valence electrons, hydrogen has one valence electron. So one one marks one mark is given for for this explanation. And then second, we draw the Lewis structure of beryllium hydrate. One mark is given. And then explain about the Lewis structure. So each hydrogen atom share a pair of electron with beryllium atom to form a sigma bond. Meanwhile the central beryllium atom share two pairs of electron with two hydrogen atom to form two sigma bond. So this is the explanation for the Lewis structure beryllium hydride. And then for carbon dioxide. First row, explain the valence electron, state the valence electron. So carbon has four valence electrons, oxygen has six valence electrons. So one mark is given. Draw the Lewis structure for uh, carbon dioxide. So this is the drawing. So one mark is given. Then third row is the explanation for Lewis structure. Each oxygen atom share two, two pairs of electron with carbon atom to form a sigma bond and a pi bond. So one mark is given. Meanwhile, the central carbon atom share four pairs of electron with two ox oxygen atom to form two pi bonds and two sigma bonds. So one mark is given for the uh, explanation, the Lewis structure of carbon dioxide. So for fourth row, we need to explain why carbon dioxide obeys while beryllium hydrate does not obey the octet rules. So first, we need to state the octet rule definition first. So octet rule states that when combined with one another during chemical reactions, the maximum stability achieved when they obtain eight valence electrons or noble gas. So this is the explanation of why beryllium hydrate does not obey the octet rule. The central atom BE is only surrounded by four valence electrons rather than eight valence electrons. Thus, it has incomplete octet and disobey octet rules. So one mark is given for this. For CO2, the central atom C is surrounded by eight valence electrons. Thus, it has completed the octet and obeys octet rules. So one mark is given. So, done for 9A answers. And then we go to the question 9B. Question 9B states that formal charge is a useful guide in determining the best or preferred structure. Explain this statement using OOC and ION as example. So for this question, the marks is 10 marks also. So we need to find the key point first. So the, the question states that the formal charge about the formal charge. So, it's a useful guide in determining the best or preferred structure. Okay. And then, explain. Explain the formal charge. Explain the statement. So, explain the formal charge. So, highlight. Using OCN iron. So, highlight this iron. Okay, this is the answer for 9B. 
So first First thing first We need to State the definition So formal charge is the apparent charge Assigned to the bounded atoms In a Lewis structure That also the formal charge uh, Formula So one mark is given Okay and then Draw the suitable structure For OCN ion So this is first structure Second structure And third structure each structure has different uh, formal charge of each element as stated in the video okay so for each drawing for each structure one mark is given so for structure 1 one mark is given structure 2 one mark is given and structure 3 one mark is given and then state the formal charge of each element in each structure so one mark is given of each structure as stated in the video and then explain which is the best structure so for this question the answer is structure 2 is the best Lewis structure so one mark is given and then explain why it is because structure 2 has the smallest formal charge and the, and the negative formal charge is placed on the oxygen atom which is the more electronegative atom so after state the reasons of the of the Lewis structure that we have chosen and then explain explain the the reason so which is the most which is the more electronegative atom so one mark is given for the reason and explanation of the reason so done thank you for watching i hope you get uh, some knowledge uh, from what i have explained in this video thank you if you like this video don't forget to subscribe like and share thank you